Hello there you guys. This is going to be a reading for September 2017 for your children and this will be for all 12 signs. So if your child is um, of the sun, moon, or rising sign of any of these um, signs, you may resonate. Okay, so this is just for parents um, who want to see what's up with their children's energies for the month of September. Okay, so I'm going to use the wisdom of the oracle card so the spread so first child we're going to look into is aries okay so if your child is an aries sun moon or rising let's tune into their energy and what they'll be dealing with for the month of Daughter is an Aries moon. Funny. Okay. You guys can see the cards. <clears throat> I'm going to pull an angel card for you as your advice. What's for your child? It's for you. What's the advice for the parents? Grandparents? guardian of this child maybe even older sibling okay and this car flew out okay all right so this is for aries children sun moon and rising for september 2017 so the overall energy is tiktok number 30 okay okay so this could be um a moon or rising Aries, because I'm getting that their birthday is coming up, or something about a birthday. Um, get that this child may be acting out just a little bit. Somebody's birthday is coming up, and it's causing them to feel out of whack or imbalanced. Could be a birth of a new child that's coming in. Because we have some very unsettling energies here for these um, the children, like, they may be extra hyper. This child, whether they're a baby, a toddler, um, a small child, a teenager, this child may be acting out a little bit. Um, for the small children or babies, I feel, you know, this could be a child that's a newborn that's with age, they're trying to shift um, into each stage of life, I feel, you know, gradually trying to learn how to do the next thing, whether it's hold their bottle, whether it's sitting up and they may be very fussy, um, and frustrated. I see the number two popping up. So terrible twos, of course, you can expect that it's not called terrible twos for nothing. So your Aries child and their fire sign. So, you know, they're very high strung, you know, some, can tend to be a little bit um, disobedient, okay? They're because they're leaders in the mind, you know, they know, they believe, they know or they think that they know or they believe that they, you know, they can do whatever they want or what whatever they're doing is, you know, what's right, you know, based off of I say go. So they have that mindset. Um, but I just feel like there's a lot of um, growing of age, especially if there's teens involved. This has something to do with time and age and growth, and it's causing them to feel out of whack because we have the chaos and conflict card is the challenging energy. So in this, it looks like a giraffe that's actually a zebra. It's like these pieces of this giraffe is coming apart and revealing a zebra. So I feel like coming into their own or coming of age um, or growing, you know, what do they call them? Milestones for babies, I believe. They call them milestones where they go through different stages. Teenagers, you know, they go through puberty. Um, children, you know, starting school. Or like I said, someone could be having a baby because we have number three here, 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 and here, which is my number four, fertility and community. We also had the tribe card at the bottom of the deck, which is like the family card. So it could be new additions to the family that's kind of causing this child to act out. Feel imbalanced. Um, feel like maybe they have to shed their skin, like they have to mature or they have to change or they have to grow up in some way. <clears throat> and it's uncomfortable trying to figure out who you are or what your next step is in life. 
how to accomplish what's needed of you at a certain age, I feel could be very complicated. With the fork in the road card, this represents their suggested approach this month. So your child is being um, guided to approach the situation by, it's kind of like this child is very wise, I feel, okay? If these, this child is usually very outgoing, very fun, very playful, very goofy, and they're not, and they're kind of like in hermit mode, stagnation, your child just isn't talking, um, the baby isn't giggling as much with you, they're not wanting to play, and they're more quiet, I feel, especially if it's babies, of course, this baby is not going to be able to approach the situation um, unless you coach them or help them with this, but the fork in the road tells me that something needs to be acknowledged. Um, you might have wisdom about what this is, and you might have some sort of clarity and knowing about what's going on with your child and why they might be closing themselves off, why they might appear, you know, pretty mute, not talking as much, not laughing, maybe not sitting with the family at dinner or something, just not wanting to um, socialize. I feel like you have an idea what this is. And I feel like maybe you're having a discussion with them because you know what's going on. And some of them may be very confused about who they are and what they want in life, especially if it's a teenager. The number 13 is here. So it's like once you turn 13, it's like you're you're a teen now. You're not a preteen. Well, you still are a preteen, but you're the teen. You're a teenager now. So I feel like it comes with the pressure. Um, definitely comes with some sort of pressure. As far as the focus you have to the C, I feel like they need to um, take a break here and trust that they're going in the right direction and that they're divinely protected and guided. Um, because with the C, it's like this spirit in the background and it's number seven, which is God's number. And they're in a boat in a ship and there's a compass that's guiding the way and she's just floating the boat so it represents going with the flow so I feel like this child really needs to go with the flow of life like there's no need to feel like they're in a rush like they have to speed time or they have to catch up with time or that they have to be a certain way it could be you know this new baby's coming in and one of your children are older significantly older than this new baby and they feel like it's gonna be a lot of responsibility on their hands and they don't feel like they're mature they've grown up um, maybe they were the youngest for a long time and this new baby comes in. So it's kind of like I got to prep myself and mature myself. So they need to know that whatever it is that they feel like they need to be or do, rush themselves into or feel like they are losing out on something or missing out. Spirit's telling them to flow. Go with the flow because their path is being mapped out for them. They don't need to know all of the details. They don't have to force or push themselves it's just really going with the flow the conclusion is between worlds so um they're going to be back and forth between being much clearer versus going back in and being confused or some of them may even come out of this this depression or light depression i don't really feel like it's a deep dark depression or just not being themselves if they're a small small child or a baby coming out of this, I feel. Um, but sometimes not a bit, not all babies meet their milestones at a certain age. You know how they say at 24 months you have to be doing this. Not all babies meet that. So I feel like they can feel the energy when the parents are pressuring them to do that thing that they can't do right now, that they're trying to do, whether it's standing up, you know, or holding their bottle. They can feel the frustration. Um, from their parents sometimes or the disappointment even that oh my baby's not doing this people think that babies don't pick up energies they do even when they're in the womb with you so <clears throat> I feel like they'll start to come into themselves but you you have to take the approach that you know is wise and what's best because there's this um, small owl here and it even could be that this child has wisdom of what they need to do moving forward um, but I feel like there needs to be some assistance and coaching with this. Okay, so what's your advice? You have the Queen of Air. It says independent, experience, realistic, witty. Objective decision making. Clearing away all that no longer serves you. Seeing the humor in the situation. 
Okay, so you have wisdom of what's going on with your child and how to go about it. Um, the queen of air is also very good at communication. Okay. So if there is a need that you have to have a conversation with your child that understands what you're saying, or even the baby, you know, talking to them in a manner where you're being supportive and loving and helpful and playful with them, not going, why aren't you walking? Like, why aren't you doing this? Like, you know, stuff like that. Um, I feel like will help. And then seeing the humor in the situation kind of have to just take the lighter approach. Once you lighten up, I feel the child lightens up because a lot of times kids take on the energy of their parents. They see them stressed out. So they stress out a little bit <clears throat> and kids aren't really supposed to worry. Um, especially if you're only 13, you're only 14. You shouldn't worry so much. The only thing you really need to worry about is chores, homework, um, you know, cleaning up your room, making sure you're clean and all of that. You're not supposed to worry about adult things right now and how to take care of bills and being this and being that. That's not what should be on your mind, especially a small child. They shouldn't feel pressured to walk. It's okay to, to give them practice and to coach them and help them with their milestones, but I don't feel like they should be pushed. And I see parents do that sometimes. They get kind of scared if they're not at a certain level, you know? So that's what I'm getting for the Aries children. So I'm going to move on to the Taurus children. All right, so this is going to be for the Taurus children, Sun, Moon, Arising for September 2017. So if you are a parent, guardian, grandparent, um, older sibling, whomever, tuning in for this um, child. So let's go ahead and get started. So the overall energy we have is Treasure Island. <coughs> Excuse me. So overall, I feel like this child is in a good place. And it might have took some time for this child to really feel good about themselves. You guys could be celebrating something um, for this child. It could be that they're happy to have their family around them. I feel... Um, they could be just traveling a lot with this card here. They could be traveling, flying around, you know, taking um, trips through airlines, or they could be meeting with family, family reunions, gatherings, graduation parties, wedding parties, um, amusement parks. I feel like they're having a good month or they will have a good month. So there's so much in store for them. Um, and Taurus children, they're very mature, I feel. And they're very single type. They're a single um, leader. Not really leaders. Sometimes they could be both. They could be leaders. And they could also be the teamwork type of person. Um, but I feel like they're individuals. Very individualistic. They might be prone to being their, the only child or the adult child. Like the, the mom and the dad of their siblings. So, um... I feel like they're kind of just enjoying this in a laid back sense. They're not all over the place with this energy, but they're definitely feeling content and happy this month, which is a good thing. So the ch challenge is the tribe. So the challenge may be that there's something going on in the home that might stress them out a little bit. Um, could be living situations or arrangements. Something is definitely changed in the home. Um, something about long distance. So some of them could be in college or something or their parents travel a lot but there's definitely something going on in the home and I feel like it's with a parent and them so mom or father could be both that they're kind of missing some attention maybe they feel like they're lacking attention from their family or their mother or their father in some way maybe they don't get to talk to them as much as they used to whether it's you know, just having a sit down conversation, laughing together or phone calls if there's a parent that lives far away, just not feeling that connection. So they might be a little challenged by that. Spirit is suggesting for them with the Between Worlds card. I feel like, you know, they could slide into overthinking, kind of being depressed, beating themselves up and then looking at things light and fluffy because they do have good things happening around them. But if they focus on this situation at home or with their parent, they could slide into feeling bad and thinking too much 
into the situation and create from a space of depression. So I feel like they need to approach the situation by staying in this good energy as much as possible. Maybe even talking to the parents if they're willing to listen. But I feel like, of course, you will. Of course, you want to hear what your child has to say. Focus on happy, happy. So spirit is telling them that it would serve their highest good to focus on the happy energy, the celebratory energy that they are in. Um, keep affirming good things. Like they need to not affirm negative things because Taurus, Tauruses were ruled by, ruled by the throat chakra. So we need to be very careful of what we are affirming. So I feel like this child needs to be careful if they're saying my life sucks. I hate my parents. You know, they need to, instead of that, focus on, you know, I can't wait to go to school or I have so much fun when I do this and I would, you know, enjoy to have this or do that. or Because there's communication here. She's wearing a blue dress. So I feel like they need to communicate from a happy place. Like it will unlock more happiness and more good energy around them. Okay. So deep knowing, which is the conclusion for them this month. So... They're highly intuitive, I feel. This child is highly intuitive. This could be their moon sign, Taurus moon sign. Um, they're very intuitive, but I feel like Spirit is telling them that there's something that they need to do that helps them get grounded within themselves, okay? Um, I just feel like they're going to maybe be meditating a lot because they do acknowledge that they don't want to be in this rut. They want to be happy instead. They want to enjoy all of this good energy that's around them. They don't want to focus on whatever this is in the home that challenges them. They may even try to figure out how to uh, work that situation out, with, either within themselves or how they're going to approach you or communicate to you. <clears throat> okay, so let's look at the advice for you. Okay, we have Major Arcana card release with Archangel Azrael. It says the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. Okay. So parents, it could be that um, you guys are moving. You know, that could be difficult for the child. Feeling that instability within the home. Could also be that you're going through your own um, situation. Like spiritually, you could be going through a breakup or a divorce or a loss of a job. Or just going through some spiritual um lessons right now or um it's like a cycle or a spiritual cycle and it's ending and i feel like you're coming out of that which is why you really can't connect to your children because it's like when we go through our own things personally it's kind of hard for us to be there in the way that we want to you know sometimes we just just sit and think a lot we don't really talk or communicate with our kids we you know might stay in bed sometimes sleep a lot um, or just stressed out and we sometimes we don't want to see our, our kids to see us like that so I feel like <clears throat> that's what's going on and I feel like you need to know that this is something that is shifting it is changing it's not going to be this way I feel like it's a divine cycle that you were in that you had to go through all right so that is that for Tauruses now moving on to Cancer Gemini, I'm sorry, we're moving on to Gemini children. All right, so this is going to be the reading for Gemini children, sun, moon, arising. So let's go ahead and get into it. <clears throat> so your Gemini child has overall energies, chaos, and conflict. So you may see that your child is not themselves. They may be snapping back. They may be spending a lot of time in contemplation or just alone, quiet, closed off in their room or just not at home not speaking when you're around or speaking around amongst the family. Um, I feel like what's going on with them is they kind of feel like they are not themselves or they feel like who they are, they need to change who they are. They could be having self-esteem issues, body image issues. Um, if this is a small child, I feel like they're picking up on some chaotic energy around the home and around you could be picking up on your stress um could be arguments and stuff like that going on around the child and they're picking up on that and you might notice that they're not being themselves excuse me um 
as far as the challenging energy, they have cleaned it up. So your child may be very defiant and not wanting to clean up their acts, okay? You might recognize that they're not being themselves and you're trying to um, address the issue and you feel like they're snapping back at you. They don't want to change. They don't want to get it together. Um, some of them may literally not be doing their chores or cleaning up. Some of them may not be taking baths or showers, you know, wearing clean clothes. You know, they're kind of just being really rebellious and defiant. Um, yeah, I feel like they're really acting out because of this chaos they feel. A lot of the babies, they may be making messes. You know, if you have little kids, they may be throwing stuff on the floor, you know, just making spillages, messes everywhere, I feel. And it's because of this energy, they're acting out in a big, you know, in this feeling of this conflict around them and the chaotic energy, something around them is causing them some stress. Could also be school, okay, for those that are in school. They may be going through some bullying, being picked on about how they look, how they dress or something. Um, them as a person, uh, they're just picking up energies that are not necessarily good. But I feel like it's people close to them. But Spirit's telling them to approach their situation by kind of thinking before they act, okay? They're air signs, so they should use that that grit, that higher mind that has to take a step back and looks at things and maybe even talk to themselves and talk them out of acting in that way. You know, think rationally. They have to ground themselves and take a step back, okay? I feel. The... Um, focus needs to be on go to see, go to see, so I get flowing energy with this. They need to focus on just, also, I don't really get so much with going with the flow, but I kind of get spirit wants them to address how they feel, really feel into what's going on inside of them and not just acting out, you know, irrationally, because I feel like it's coming from an irrational place. They're not really thinking things through. So I feel like spirit wants them to calm down and just think and feel into their energy how they really feel. Then they end with the treasure island. So I feel like it might take some time, but once they address their feelings and emotions, the better that they'll feel, the better they understand. If these are small children, you may have to, you know, kind of soothe them in a way. And it's a way that you can nurture your children into calm and I feel like it will help them feel happy, surely, sh surely, slowly but surely, um, lead them to feeling better and understanding why they were upset. And even might even feel like if you come to them, that it helps them open up, okay, and feel much more better. So for your advice, you have the two of earth. It says too much going on at once, the need to make a decision considering a more playful approach. So yeah, you need to um, address your children with a lighthearted approach. It may be that you have too much going on in your life and they're witnessing it or you're carrying too much into the home. You might be arguing, you know, taking your anger out on them, telling them too much of your, your adult business. They might be overhearing or seeing too much of your adult business. Um, you could be discussing bills and your stress about, about that. You know, there's so much and I feel like you could leave that out and be more playful with them because I feel like they want you to be more playful and more involved because it opens up their their heart, I feel. It helps them to feel more at peace and more comfortable with you because they have two sides to them and I feel like you can easily work with that with these Gemini children. So moving on to Cancer. All right, so let's get into a Cancer. This is going to be for the um, Cancer children, Sun, Moon, or Rising. All right, so the overall energy for the Cancer children, we have 15, or sorry, 51 milk and honey. So, um, hmm, I feel like your child is going to be, <laughs> I feel like they're going to be just overindulgent in food. So if your child is prone to overeating or you might be overfeeding your children you might want to slow it down because i pick up this energy that your child is going to be very sleepy very tired all of the time and it could be to eating the wrong things so 
if you can control it, I feel don't give them so many um, helpings of food for some of them. If it's small babies, of course, don't overfeed them. Maybe don't start adding table food into their diet just yet. Um, teenage children, make sure that they're not eating a whole bunch of junk food all of the time if you can help it. But they can be prone to overeating and they feel good. I feel like they like food. So you might want to be careful so that they don't overeat. So they're being challenged with the soulmate's energy. So they're being challenged here and it could be um, connections with their parents and their relationships. Okay, they may... Um, it could be that you're a single parent and you're dating and they may not like the person that you are dating um, or their other parent is dating someone and they may not like that person. Um, if your child is old enough to date, it could be that they're having um, problems with love right now, with love relationships and might be desiring to have a soulmate. And if you're up for that, if they're if they're of the age to date, you know, I would talk to them about the situation, but I feel like for small children, the dynamic between the parents is a big issue for them. You know, they might not feel like there's a lot of peace here and harmony in which they would like in the in the dynamic between you and the parent or the person that you are with or the person that their other parent is with. They could also be desiring for you two to be back together if you're single parenting, right? Or co-parenting with someone else that you're no longer with in a relationship with. Uh, they may desire to have a two-person home. It could be no one. There could be no male or no female figure in the home. And they, you know, they feel that that's out of balance. So they might be struggling with this. Their suggested approach is blessed. I feel like this child could have a very good month. Um, with the exception of not worrying about this, they have the blessed card and I feel like they can focus on other things in their life that actually makes them happy. The comforts, I feel like you give them a lot. You provide them with a lot of love, a lot of good things in their life, you know, a good home, you know, you feed them, obviously, you make sure that they got that, um, you know, they may have a lot of things that other children don't have. And they can easily look past that if they're worried about this love situation. I feel like they need to readjust their focus and look at how blessed they are. Then they have the focus card, the fate. So if they can focus on, because um, I feel like this child may be intuitive. This is a small baby. Of course, they're not going to be able to focus on the blessings, but they can definitely, um, if you can keep some of this love life situation out of their focus because I feel like kids pick up the energy when you're talking about the other parent when you're angry when you're arguing when something is amiss in the relationship they could pick that up but I feel like if you soothe them because this is like bedtime energy I feel like maybe reading them children's stories like um lullabies and fairy tales or some of you maybe bible stories like children's stories in the bible could also be um, playing the meditation music to put them to sleep because this is like bedtime energy with the focus card the fates like I was getting to I feel like they are intuitive kids and I feel like they have a lot of dreams and I feel like spirit wants them to focus on their dreams focus on what it is that they desire as well maybe setting out new moon intentions or full moon intentions with your children like teach them about vision boards if you're into that how to pray or set intentions to bring about what it is that they actually want and desire. Um, like I said, I feel like they're going to be prone to a lot of sleep. <clears throat> the conclusion energy is by the book. So the conclusion is going to be that I feel like within time, you know, as they grow older, the wiser that they're going to get, they're going to understand certain things. Um, I feel, you know, um, because this child is very wise, I feel. Very, edu very not educated, but they're very in intelligent, okay? Very intelligent, very highly spiritual and intuitive kids, I feel. All right, so let's see what the advice is for you. Okay, so you have the Ace of Earth. It says the inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts, okay? 
So you are, your advice is, I feel like Spirit wants you to be their support because you provide them with a lot of good things already. You provide them with shelter, food, you know, maybe like game systems, cell phones, toys, whatever. You have it, you have it to give to them, but I feel like they want you to work on nurturing them, maybe um, teaching them how to be more grounded because they are emotional. They are water signs. So maybe helping them to ground themselves or do things you know more practical maybe spend more time outdoors playing with them and show them that they are appreciated because i feel like you have a lot to give but it's one thing just to give um materially but on in other ways will be important to this child because they need to know that they're they're blessed and they are loved in in all ways i feel and I feel like they really would enjoy bedtime stories if you can, if they're young enough and are into that thing, that type of thing, then definitely read them books, okay? All right, so moving on to the Leo children. All right, so this is going to be the reading for Leos, okay? Um, don't mind me, I'm trying to write the times down. So this is for the Leo children, and this will be for their sun, moon, rising sign, okay? Usually I pick up, or I, I have been picking up small baby energy, but kind of getting that these are like um, small children up to teenage energy I'm picking up for Leo. Okay, so let's get into it. So overall energy is message in a bottle. So I feel like your child... Um, talks on the phone a lot or text messages or spends a lot of time on social media that's where most of their focus is going to be this month a lot of communication so i wouldn't be surprised if your leo has some air in their chart um but they're very they're very focused on communication right now putting themselves out there i feel like they're they may be trying to get attention from someone specifically or maybe just a large group of friends or peers or people on at school or people on social media um with the challenge card they have all that glitters so they're putting on a facade i feel your child so you want to be very careful of that if they're acting out or they're acting differently in some way i feel like this child is trying to please a big crowd especially at school they may be wanting to dress a little more flashier for the females, a little more skimpier or just doing things out of character to get attention. And I feel like Spirit wants you to pay attention to that, to stop that right before it gets any bigger. And I feel like they know that this stuff isn't valuable. You know, the facade, you know, the, the things that they are wearing, um, maybe the slang, you know, trying to fit in or trying to be somebody that they're not that they know that this doesn't amount to anything. They know that for a fact, but they're challenged by this. They feel like they have to result to this. Spirit's telling them to approach the situation with milk and honey. I feel like Spirit wants them to look at this from a bigger place. You know, be wise because you're wise enough to know that what you're doing is wrong and it's not true to who you are. You need to look at things that are actually tangible and actually prosperous and abundant that you have in your life. That you can actually see and and acknowledge that's there okay like your parents you know the fact that they take care of you they provide things for you that they love you the people that love you, you don't have to put on a front for you know there's an abundance of things the spirit wants them to focus on because they have focus on loyal heart which is going to be of their highest good to focus on and i feel like they need to focus on those that really love them that sees them for them not this facade okay they don't have to put on the front for these people you know the people that that um matter don't care about what you perceive as a flaw so i feel like they need to focus on this and maybe you can kind of teach them and direct them to look at this help them um because their conclusion card is co-create so I feel like essentially what they're trying to do is trying to figure out who they are as an individual. They might not know who they are. They may be going through a small identity crisis, especially if they're teenagers. Teenagers tend to go through phases. We all have as teenagers. We try to figure out who we are, what we want in life. 
um, how do we fit in and stand out in the world? So I feel like they're co-creating who they are. They're trying to give birth to their who they are as a person, you know. So let's see what your advice is. We have the Awakening card with Archangel Gabriel. It says, look at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. So that stands out. It's important to be yourself. I feel like you can help them look at things from a different perspective and know that this this is only a temporary phase. This is literally a phase. And I feel like you can teach them the importance of being themselves. With Archangel Gabriel, the messenger of God, I feel like it, Gabriel can help you and speak through you in a way that's very effective to your child. So that's good. So that's for the Leo children. Now I'm going to move on to the Virgo children. All right, there, Virgo's um, children. So this is for Virgo's sun, moon, and rising children okay so let's go ahead and get into your energy Virgo so <clears throat> we have chaos and conflict okay so a lot of the children have been getting this card and I feel like I'm speaking to preteens teenagers maybe small children not so much the infants and toddlers because I was picking some of that up in some of the other signs but I feel majority I'm speaking to those of you who have um you know maybe kids that are 6 to 14 16 maybe okay so they are going through some identity crisis i feel um virgos are picking at themselves judging themselves very harshly um why isn't my breast developing i'm hearing why isn't like why am i not growing taller like they're judging themselves like they want themselves to grow up because kids nowadays, let's be real, they don't look their age anymore. Um, so I feel like they might be looking at other kids around them and judging what's not developed yet. What really shouldn't even be developed yet. Um, and also looking at social media and stuff or media period and comparing themselves. Having body issues and self-image issues, I feel. Picking themselves apart. Um, could also be something in their surroundings that causing them some imbalance and not feeling loved so therefore you know they're picking at themselves and looking at their insecurities and their so-called flaws okay the challenge for them is treasure island so it's very hard for them to pay attention to the gifts that they already have in their life the blessings that are there they're not able to see that because they're focused on this what they don't have what they wish they could be or have or do um just wanting to fit in and be someone else because you see there's a giraffe here but there's like pieces of this giraffe that are coming apart and underneath it's a zebra so it's like they're trying to conform and fit in when they really shouldn't or try so they're missing out on a lot of you know their unique gifts and things that about them that are lovable that they're stars in their own right and they're not seeing that about themselves it's kind of like they're looking at their that they're behind because there's this turtle here so i feel like they feel like they're behind on certain things when they're really not behind they're where they're supposed to be um spirit is telling them to approach the situation here with chop wood so i feel like they want them to start working on what really matters okay cleaning away the, the gunk within themselves you know those insecurities the things that are eating them eating away at them I feel because they're not seeing who they are. They're not seeing the treasure of who they are as individuals, I feel. And they need to clear their mind. They need to clear house, okay? Spirit wants them to focus on the energy of yin, okay? So like the yin and yang. So focusing on the yin energy, which I feel like they need to have that compassion is what I'm getting. They need to focus on how can I nurture myself or what do I love about myself? What does everyone else really love about me? Um, you know, focusing on love and being receptive to love around them because I feel like they may be very likable people. And if they told you how they felt, you might be very shocked that they would feel this way about themselves. And maybe even their closest friends might be shocked that they feel this energy um, this chaos and conflict, they might not understand, but I feel like it's very important that the people around them 
give them this love, okay? With Breathe, this is their conclusion. So I feel like they are going to sit down and really just think about this a little bit. They may be guided to just go within and really think. And as a parent, it may be good to suggest meditation if you're into that. Maybe peaceful music before they go to bed, meditation music, um, you know, suggesting that they go out in nature and get some fresh air. Maybe meditate, sit, clear their mind. Okay. So your advice for um, your parenting this month, you have strength, great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. So you may look at yourself like, what am I doing wrong as a parent? And I feel like most of you may be single parents and you don't want to fail your child, your children or child at all. So Spirit's just telling you to acknowledge the fact that you have a lot of great strength and inner strength within you. And don't judge yourself too harshly. Don't do that. I feel like you also need to forgive yourself and have compassion for yourself. But use some of that compassion for your child as well. Okay. All right. So that was the first part of the... Um, September readings for the children. I'm going to do a part two and I'm going to finish off with Libra through Pisces. Okay.